You know, I always joke, BA first class is not really a first class, it's a really good business class, but it's great for a relatively short hop across the pond. These flights, though, are critical that you sleep because London being only five hours ahead and only a six hour flight, or maybe even a little bit under, it's really tough to get a good night's sleep. So my goal today is to drink a lot of water, eat in the lounge, and sleep as soon as we lift off to maximize my sleep, to hopefully minimize jet lag. Although I've got some tricks for minimizing that once you land. So my goal is to not wake up at three in the morning wide awake in London. Let's check in. So even though they serve dinner on the flight, I'm skipping it today, eating in the first class dining portion of the lounge. And I promise you, I know I've said it before on other flights that I wouldn't eat on board. I'm really not gonna eat on board because I only have six hours in the sky max and I want to maximize my sleep. We're on the 777 today, which is probably my least favorite long haul BA plane. If I had to rank them, I would say A380, 787, 747, and then 777. At least this 777 has first class, some don't, on more leisure routes. It's your standard seat, overhead bins, decent sized locker, decent sized screen, no Wi-Fi on BA planes, which shouldn't matter tonight, but uh, they are changing that over time, but service is decent, no caviar, okay champagne, food is decent, but nothing crazy, but it's a big enough suite, so for a six hour flight to Europe, totally fine. This cabin came out when I started the Point Sky in 2010. So I've been flying it for nearly a decade. And I just like that I can buy it for 70,000 Alaska miles, which I buy for two cents a piece. It's $1,400 plus 500 in fees. So I'm buying $1,900 one way first class to Europe with the lounge experience, expedited arrivals, etc. So it's a good deal in my opinion. Fit. So today's a really interesting flight because British Airways has new uh, soft product coming to the first class cabin including bedding and amenity kits. It starts tomorrow but tonight we've got basically a, a hodgepodge so it's a little bit of the new service which is this kind of velvet amenity kit by Tom Curley. Temperley? Tom Curley. Temperley. 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 Let's see what we got. Okay. Just soft. Facial wipe. Let's check out this eye mask. What I like, BA eye mask usually. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I get excited the, about things like this. The oh, you do have the slipper. Different storage, Ooh. but we have them indeed, and they look quite nice. And that's a large sleeper suit. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Sleeper suit. I will be RB. Well, in the effort of fighting jet lag, Brian is fast asleep. By the way, my name's Ted. I've been filming with Brian for the last couple of months. Help him do this vlog. I am going to review all of the meals that this first class flight to London has to offer. First class food is awesome. First dish is mushroom soup. This salmon is actually pretty freaking good for airplane fish. I've heard that it can be a bit risky. Oh my God. <laughs> I've never done that on a plane. <laughs> Finally, dessert. Caramel cheesecake is exquisite. The British Airways bakers have their cheesecake game on point. I 
have jet lag at bay. I slept almost five hours on the six hour flight. I highly recommend if you come to London or the UK several times a year, get registered traveler. It allows you to go through the automated gates. Came straight through, got my bag, came to the arrivals lounge, had a little avocado toast, took a hot shower. But we're not going to be picky today. Okay. okay. And we are off to the TPG offices. p.m. and the waves of jet lag are kicking in. Need something to wake me up. Right now we're gonna go to cryotherapy. Freeze my ass off. Never done it. Not really a fan of freezing myself, but you know my body runs hot normally, so I bet that I'll even feel it. Temperature uh, 17 degrees up to 5 degrees. This is the most temperature range. I encourage you to move like bigger movements, okay. open your armpits and stuff okay. to absorb the cold. Is it gonna is it gonna go quickly? Or is it gonna seem yeah. like you're not going to understand? <laughs> <laughs> from your tummy, which is 30, from your triceps, which is 30 as well. 13, 13. Well, it's gonna help you out with your jet lag. It's gonna help you out with the hangover, if you're having. I don't have one. Okay, perfect. So, any music in particular? Uh, fun music. Fun music. Like, pop. Pop. Ariana Grande. Are you kidding me? What do you like? Ariana Grande, I'm gonna put for you. Are you supposed to do this? No, that one's not fast enough. <gasps> break free. Break free will be a good one. Break free. I'm gonna break free of my cryo chamber. Oh my god. Are you ready? I'm ready. One, two, three. Hey. Welcome back. <laughs> you can take your body temperature, which is 20 on the tummy, 16. 14, 21. You should do four next time. Four minutes, yeah. Yes, your body temperature. I'm like twice yes. the size of a normal yes. person. Yeah. Or like, you should do bigger movements like this. Do bigger movements. Yeah, like, yeah I was like, trying. In the armpits. Yeah, I was doing a little. Yeah. I feel great. I mean, maybe that was just the Ariana, but. <laughs> I'll do it again. Yeah. It's 5 p.m. day one normally. I'm dead by now, but that cryo really kicked me back into gear. It's gonna give me a boost. I have a seven o'clock dinner, be in bed by 10, and hopefully be able to sleep straight through to like 6 a.m. when I can get to the gym. Um, taking a shower really rebooted me when I got into the arrivals lounge. Caffeine in between, cryo. It's a pretty good setup. And definitely sleeping on the plane, I got about five hours of sleep. So three ups, number one, their bedding was really comfortable. Uh, number two, the staff, super, super nice. Number three, the dining experience in Philadelphia uh, and Piper Champagne. It was a decent experience, it was nice. Three downs, number one, uh, that's just an old cabin and for first class and for the fees they charge, um, they really need to redo the first class uh, seat, but considering that Club World hasn't been 
updated in 20 years and that first class seat's 10 years old, I think it's gonna be around for a while, minus some comfy new pillows that they're adding. So at least they're adding, updating the soft product. Number two, taxes and fees on award tickets, even when redeeming through partners, it's like $500 one way, which is really high. Number three, the lounge barring the first class was pretty basic for a first class lounge. Even a business class lounge is not very good. So um, the dining was okay, but in general, the lounge was kind of uninspired and no showers. That's all folks. Thank you.